Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a command line to-do list app using Python. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. We'll start by creating an array to store all the tasks. So it will be the tasks array and it will be an empty empty list for uh, as default. Now we'll create a function to add the task and it will take an input called a task because we'll be using the normal Python inputs to give the tasks into the list. And then what should the function do? It should append the task that we pass into the tasks list so we call tasks dot append to add to that list and we should add dictionary one of the key will be the task and it will be the task that we just pass into the function then we have a status called completed it will be true if we have if we mark it as completed and if it it will be false if we uh, haven't completed the task so as default it will be false itself now when we create each task i will also print task added we need a function to list all the tasks so i will just name it list underscore tasks and it need it doesn't need any parameter then whenever this function is called i will also print to do list and it will be after leaving a line so in a new line we will print to do list then i will loop through the tasks array using enumerate the reason why i'm using enumerate is because we can keep track of the index also so for index and task in for index and task in enumerate and we should loop through the tasks array so we pass in tasks and normally the first index will be zero but when uh, when listing something we don't want it to show zero as the first zero for the first one when we are using an ordered list and all we will we will usually show one as the first one then two then three so we want we want it something to be like that and not starting from zero so we specify an argument called start and set it to one this will set the uh, first index to be equal to one now we will check if the task is completed how do how to do that we just access the task and then the field there is a key called completed right so that uh, because there is a, a field co key called completed we can use this square bracket approach and then pass in this completed inside it now if we just do like this then what this means is if task completed is equal to true if you need you can uh, uh, put something like this but it is not necessary just this one is enough this means if task is completed then we will create a variable called status and it will be stored into a tick mark now how to get the tick mark we will go into the browser and search for unicode tick unicode is a character encoding system which have almost uh, which have the encoding for almost all the world languages and then we just copy this using control c and then come in here and paste it inside this variable in, inside this string double quotes and then if the task is not completed then we will just put the st set the status to an empty string okay now we have that now we will also print out the print out the list with index we will print an f string and the first we will pass in the index the index will be 1 because we set the start equal to 1 the index will be 1 for the first one 2 for the second one and so on because we set the start equal to 1 and then i will put a dot and then we need to show the status inside square bracket so if the uh, task is completed there will be a tick mark inside the square bracket otherwise it will be an empty empty one and then we need to uh, show the task also as task is what we are looping as we are looping through the tasks uh, looping through the tasks array and we are accessing the task and then the task have a key called a task which is uh, which contains the string of the task actually i mean it's not so nice what i'm saying and then we need to pass in the task inside that and we cannot use double quote because outside we are actually putting it inside a double quote so we need to pass in it as single quote with this we have the list or function also done and in the end i will also print an empty line so that it, it just leaves a line now we will create a new function to mark completed so define underscore mark underscore completed this will allow us to mark uh, mark a task whether it is completed or not and then we need to pass in the index because we will be using the index to mark the certain note whether it is completed or not now if the in we need to check if the index is uh, uh, the index should start from 1 until the length of the task because normally it is from 0 to length of the task minus 1 
because we said the start is equal to 1 and in here this index 2 this index will start from 1 we need to just uh, start it from 1 and until the length of tasks so we will just create a condition this will be the condition to check whether it is a valid one if the val index is valid so the index should be uh, between 1 and the length of the tasks both inclusive and if it is the case then what we will do we will access the tasks index minus 1 so this one is the actual index index minus 1 and then completed actually this one is not the actual index because this one is the for the first one this index will be 1 but we want to pass in here 0 for the first one that's why we are putting in index minus 1 and in here there is a typo so tasks index minus 1 and we will set the uh, completed key of that certain node task to true and then we will also print out task marked as complete ok now we printed we print it out and then if that is not the case if the index is not valid then we what we will print we will print invalid task index so if the index is not from 1 to length of the task then we uh, then we pass in invalid task index we print out invalid task index now we need to create a while loop and uh, give all the inputs there will be an options we leave a line and print out options this is how we uh, use this is for the giving the different options to uh, whether add a task list task or mark the task as completed or exit we will create we will print four lines one is the add task add a task so if we click if we just give the input one then we can add a task then we need a two second one list a task if we give the input two then we can the all the tasks will be listed out and then there will be a third one which is mark as complete so when we when the input we gave is three then we can mark a certain note as complete and then the fourth one which is the last one will be exit so when we give the input 4 then the uh, command line will be exited or the code will stop running now we need to create an input so we create a variable called choice and it will be an input and what will be the uh, string inside it enter your choice obviously enter your choice and the only choice that we have are 1 2 3 or 4 and based on that some uh, the options will be done i will just pass it inside a parenthesis so that people might not get confused whether what choice we are meaning now we create an input called a choice now we need to create if statement to check what the choice is if choice is equal to one then what we will do we will create a new task so for creating a new task there should be a new input uh, to store what task we are we want so it will be an input and enter the task will be the uh, the prompt enter the task and then we will call the add task button and pass in the task as the task parameter and what if the choice is 2 so elif choice is equal to 2 if choice is 2 then we will list all the tasks just call the list tasks function and then what if the choice is 3 if the choice is 3 again we will list all the tasks first and then we will create a new input and it will be for the index it will be an integer input because index is obviously an integer it will be an integer input and the what will be the prompt enter the task number which task we want to mark as completed and that will be the task number and then we will call the mark completed function we need to pass in the index so we just pass in index now what if the choice is 4 we will just break out of the loop first I will print goodbye and then I will break out of the loop which means the while loop is closed and the code will stop running and there should be also be, uh, also be an if statement like if the user gives some choice other than 1 2 3 or 4 so it will be an invalid choice we will print out that also invalid choice and i will also say please choose 
1 2 3 or 4 so that will be what i am printing with this i think the app is done let's try to run it and now we have something like this everything is printed the options is printed now first okay i'll just make a small change in here and all i will put the colons so that it's more nice to see now i'll put a colon in here for it to look good and i will remove the white space in here now we'll control c to exit out of that and run the code again now we have a better looking one now we'll just create a new task by first i will give the input one and then this way i will just give the task as this is the first task and i will print the tasks all the tasks and now we have a task in here i will create one more task this is the second task and I will print it list it again and we have the list in here I will mark it as completed so just go to 3 just type 3 and which one should we mark I will just mark the first one as completed so just give the index and now I will list all of them and now that there is a tick mark inside the first one because we mark it as completed now how, how to exit just click on 4 and enter now it is exited thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please like share and subscribe and I will be back with another video soon